In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a comment. And comments are, another way to think about these are main posts or initial posts. So if, for instance, you are going in and creating an introduction, it would be you introducing yourself. So again, you navigate back to VoiceThread. Now, the difference between comments and replies are in one way shown by shape. And so squares here, that's a main comment. And so something that is considered a main post, an initial post, and then the, those circled are threaded replies. So we want to actually create a comment. What you find is down here, this make a comment button, you will have a number of options on how to make a comment. Text, call in, voice, video, and upload. You may not see text. It is possible that whoever set up the voice thread disabled one of these, and it's not uncommon for text to be disabled. So if you don't see that, it's because whoever set it up didn't want you to write your comments. They wanted you to have an audio or video comment, for instance. So there's different options. If you have a microphone, you can click this, and it's going to ask you for access to your microphone, and you have to actually allow that to happen in order to actually record anything. Same if you click uh, here for the video, it's going to ask you uh, for access and you'll see that it had that countdown. You can, over here, as it's starting, turn that off. I don't like it, it makes me nervous. And um, then when you're done, you can click Stop Recording. You can also decide to draw. Then when you click Stop Recording, it's going to start processing it and then playing it automatically. This is really useful because if you scroll all the way to the end, you can see how long that is before you even post it. So if your, for instance, instructor said it has to be five minutes long, you would know that hmm, I have to create quite a bit more. Now, if that's the case, you can record more, just add more to it, or you could cancel and start again if you wanted to. But this is a really great feature that you can say, okay, I don't quite have enough. I'm going to add some more. And then when you're done, you click save and a comment will pop up at the bottom. There are these number of different options. A really helpful one, especially if you do not have a camera, you don't have a microphone, or you're in a place that you can't use that, there's also the call me option. So you make a comment using your phone and what that's going to do is pop in something right here. So, and I would click call me and it would call me. And it's just like a voicemail where it says after the tone, leave a message. And um, once you do that, it will just create a comment like it did here. So that's comment, the square, kind of your main post. And in another video, I will show you how to reply.